Well, according to Oscar De La Hoya on X slash Twitter, he has put his bid in for Shakur Stevenson. As you see, he said he talked to his representatives. And interesting enough, they're using William Zapata as the character dangling in front of Shakur and his people to make the, the uh, signing. Now, the messed up part about that, which I get it, but the messed up part about it, you're saying the Zapata fight will only happen if Shakur signs with, with Golden Boy. Now, that's cool and all, but what happens to after the Zapata fight? Who do you have left? See, in my opinion, that's what you need to be looking at. Who does these particular companies have for you to fight? Of course, we know Top Rank has Lomachenko and maybe a novel red tan Barashek, or however you pronounce the guy's name, that just beat Navarrete <laughs> to get the vacant, uh, I think it's the IBF title. Then you got Floyd dangling Tank out uh, to make the fight with Tank. If that's even possible, we don't even know if that to be true. To me, top rank might be, I hate to say it, the place where the most fighters are. Because you still have guys like Abdullah Mason. You got um, Keyshawn Davis, even though he said he won't fight him. It's other guys coming up from top rank as well that he can line up beyond uh, 2024. But he has a lot to think about. But to me, Golden Boy is probably the one with the least amount of options. And that's pretty much all I got to say about some boxes on Fight Doctor. Hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Hit me up in the comment section, let me know what you think. Which way should Secure Stevenson go um, in his quest for, for to be able to fight top competition? You hit me up in the comment section, let me know what you think. This hair busting boxes on Fight Doctor I am out.